that being said, I think it's very important to have debates. And we've agreed with Fox on a date of September 4th. We've agreed with NBC. Fairly full agreement, subject to them, on September 10th. And we've agreed with ABC on September 25th. So we have those three dates, and uh, those networks, uh, they're very anxiously awaiting that date and those dates. Uh, so we have September, September 4th, September 10th, and September 25th. The other side has to agree to the terms. They may or may not agree. I don't know if they're going to agree. They, she hasn't done an interview. She can't do an interview. She's barely competent, and she can't do an interview. But I look forward to the debates, because I think we have to set the record straight. Why? Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Listen, I had 107,000 people in New Jersey. You didn't report it. I'm so glad you asked. What did she have yesterday, 2,000 people? If I ever had 2,000 people, you'd say my campaign is finished. It's so dishonest, the press. And, and here's a great example. I had, in Michigan recently, 25,000 people, and 25,000 people were just, we just couldn't get them in. We had, in Harrisburg, 20, 25,000 people, and 20,000 people couldn't get in. We had so many, nobody ever mentions that. leadership that has no clue how to handle them or how to handle any other situation. We have a uh, — we have a lot of bad things coming up. You could end up in a depression of the 1929 variety, which would be a devastating thing. Took many years, took decades to recover from it. Uh, and we're very close to that. And we're very close to a world war. In my opinion, we're very close to a world war. We have people that don't know how to handle it. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter.
we go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.